Hi everyone, I am Arun Chulkar. Today in partial differentiation part 2, we will talk about maxima and minima of a function. Maxima and minima of a function with two variables. What are different steps involved in that when you want to find out maxima and minima of a function with a two variable? Given that z is a function of x and y, first we find partial derivative respect to x and partial derivative respect to y del z by del x and del z by del y. Then we put first derivative, the first partial derivative equal to 0 to find critical points. Let a comma b be a critical point. In next step, we will find double derivative f x x, f x y and f y y. Now we find the value of a b c at a comma b respectively. We put a comma b in second derivatives. Then if a c minus b square is positive and a is negative then z has maximum value at a comma b. If a c minus b square is positive and a is also positive then z has minimum value at a comma b. If a c minus b square is negative then z has a settle point at a comma b. And if a c minus b square is equal to 0 then no conclusion can be drawn. Find local maxima and minima of a function z equals to x square plus y square minus 4x. Function is given to us x square plus y square minus 4x. First, we differentiate respect to x, treating y as a constant, and we will get del z by del x equals to 2x minus 4. Again differentiate respect to y treating x as a constant and we will get del z by del y equals to 2y. Now put first derivative equal to 0 to find critical points. Here 2x minus 4 equal to 0 and 2y equal to 0 and after solving we will get x equal to 2 and y equal to 0. So 2 comma 0 is a critical point. Now, we will find second derivative fxx which equals to 2, fxy which equals to 0, fyy which equals to 2. At 2 comma 0, the value of abc we put in double derivative and get 2, 0 and 2 respectively. Thus, ac minus b square which is 4 minus 0 equals to 4 is positive and a is also positive so z has minimum value at 2 comma 0 and minimum value now you put value of x and y in the function and z equals to 4 plus 0 minus 8 is equals to minus 4 so function has minimum value minus 4 at 2 comma 0 Next example, find local maxima and minima of a function z equals to function of xy 90x minus 7x square plus 4x into root y minus y. First we differentiate respect to x treating y as a constant and we will get del z by del x equals to 90 minus 14x plus 4 root y. Again differentiate respect to y treating x as a constant and we will get del z by del y equals to 4x divided by 2 root y minus 1 which equals to 2x upon root y minus 1. Now put first derivative equal to 0 to find critical points. 
14x minus 4 root 5 equals to 19 and 2x upon root 5 minus 1 equals to 0 which means 2x equals to root 5. After solving both equation we will get x equals to 15 and y equals to 900. So the critical point is 15 comma 900. Now we find second derivative fxx which is minus 14 fxy which is 2 by root y and fyy which is minus x upon y to the power 3 by 2. At 15 comma 900 we will find the value of abc by putting the critical point in the second derivative and we will get a minus 14 b 1 by 15 and c minus 1 by 1800. Thus ac minus b square equals to a multiplied by c minus b square equals to 1 by 300 which is positive and a is negative. So local maxima at 15 comma 900 and local maxima value now we put the value of this critical point in z and we will get z equals to 19 into 15 minus 7 into 15 square plus 4 into 15 into root 900 minus 900 which equals to 675. So maximum value 675 at 15 comma 900. Next example. Find local maxima and minima of a function z equals to which is a function of x and y x cube minus y cube. First we differentiate with respect to x treating y as a constant and we will get del z by del x equals to 3x square or is also known as fx. Differentiate respect to y treating x as a constant and we will get del z by del y which is also treated as fy equal to 0 minus 3y square the answer is minus 3y square now put fx fy equal to 0 to find critical points so 3x square equal to 0 and minus 3y square equal to 0 and after solving we will get x and y equal to 0 so 0 comma 0 is a critical point now double derivative fxx 6x fxy 0 and fyy is minus 6y at 0 comma 0 we will find the value of a b and c by putting this critical point in the double derivative respectively and we will get a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equals to 0 now ac minus b square which is 0 no conclusion can be drawn Last example, find local maxima and minima if any of function z equals to is a function of x and y, x square minus y square. First we differentiate with respect to x treating y as a constant and we will get fx which is del z by del x equals to 2x. Again differentiate respect to y treating x as a constant and we will get fy which is del z by del y equals to minus 2y. Put first derivative fx and fy equal to 0 to find critical points. So 2x equal to 0 and minus 2y equal to 0 and after solving we will get x and y equal to 0. So critical point is 0 comma 0. Now we find double derivative fxx which is equals to 2 fxy which equals to 0 and fyy which equals to minus 2. At 0 comma 0 we will find the value of abc by putting 0 comma 0 in double derivative respectively and we will get a equals to 2 b equal to 0 and c equals to minus 2. Thus ac minus b square is minus 4 minus 0 is minus 4 which is negative. So z has settle point at 0 comma 0.